and Dr. Mohammad Rafi, Associate Professor, Department of Cyber Security at Institute of Aeronautical Engineering. Today, I want to discuss about problem solving on UDP Echo Server and UDP Echo Client. What are the other problems will be arise in a UDP Echo Server and what are the problems will arise in a UDP Echo Client? Here is UDP Echo Server and UDP Echo Client, the problems, that means uh, the issues and uh, the solutions uh, today I want to discuss. Here the first, uh, the problem, problem in a UDP Echo Server. So at UDP Echo Server, the problem is does not receive any data. Sometimes the UDP Echo Server. So, the meaning of the UDP echo, the meaning of UDP echo, so that means uh, user datagram echo, user datagram protocol echo. What is the, uh, the meaning of the user datagram protocol echo? Echo means now which is uh, sending back the same message, whatever the message received by the client same message is responded to the client. So, that is the meaning of the echo. UDP means here user datagram protocol. With help of this uh, the protocol now the server can be responded the same message generally. Here the problem in this, the problem is not receiving any messages uh, from client. Here this is the problem. So, in this uh, situation the echo service will be failed. So, this is the, the problem here. Here, the problem now, you will set up an UDP echo server, but it is not retrieving any data from the client. Here, it is not receiving any data from the client. We have verified that the server is running and listening on the correct port. It is verified. The correct port which is running and uh, listening, but the data not received. No messages are being processed. So, this is the problem at UDP server side. Here, for that one, the solutions, how can resolve these, the problems are. The solutions are check client configuration. First, we have to check the client side, the configuration. Here, these are the client side the configuration, so which ensures that user datagram echo client. So, which is the sending the data to the correct IP address or not. First, we have to check it. And the port number, correct data, at the IP address, at the port number, which is uh, using or not. Where the server is listening. From where the server is listening, now which is sending the correct IP address or not. And port number. For example, here, 192.168.1.0. So, it is the IP address of the server and the port number is a 1024 is a port number. Now, we have to check and cross verify it whether we are sending the correct IP address and the port number or not. After that, now firewall rules. Apply the firewall rules. In firewall rules, what we are doing, that means verifying that there are no firewall rules on a network on a network. So, we have to verify that. Is there any firewall rules? So, is there any other firewall rules on a network other policies now which is the blocking UDP traffic to the server port. That means here, so no firewall rules can be applicable. So, this is a second rule we have to do it. Next, network other configurations. Ensure both client server on the same network, same network are having the proper routing. If there are on a different network, we have to configuration, we have to check the configurations of the network. Whether client and server which is running the same network or not, we have to check it first. If it is running the different network, what are the other problems will be arise. Now, separate other configurations are required. If it is a Running on a different network, 
So we have to configure the both separately client and server. Suppose here the same network now, we have to configure the just uh, network uh, the configuration, we have to set the network uh, the configurations. So by that now we can resolve the uh, these the communication uh, problems and socket uh, binding. After that here, after checking the these are the network uh, the configurations. Now we have to bind the sockets at the client side and the server side. So double check that the server socket is a so correctly bound the desired IP addresses and the port or not. So which is the bounding the correct IP address and the port number or not. We have to resolving that the issues by use the 0 .0 .0 .0 as the IP address in the server server code here to listen to listen the to listen on the interface to listen on the network interfaces. So these are the solutions for the UDP upper server if it is not received any data. And next problem, client does not receive any responses from the server. Here, client is not receiving any responses from the server. It is also an issue in a UDP echo server and a UDP echo client. Here is the problem is, what is the problem here? The UDP echo client now which is sending messages to the server, generally which is sending the message to the server. But after sending the message, now after certain time delay, which is not receiving any responded uh, response from the client, not receiving any response from the client. So the client uh, the eventually which is the uh, time out. That means here yeah, solution for that one here server response. Server response means uh, which ensures the server is uh, correctly sending the response using the clients, client address. So that was uh, the provided. When the data were received, we have to server ensure the server is correctly sending the response or not. We have to cross verify that. For example, now make sure you are, you, you are using the server socket send to method, server socket send to method data client address. That means uh, correctly the client address are mentioning correct or not. So the data, whatever the data you are sending, you have to check the client address and the port number of the client while utilizing this uh, send to uh, function at the server side, server underscore so, uh, socket uh, dot send to data client address. Now, if it is correct, the client address is the correct and uh, along with the, the port number also, we have to verify that. So, next, uh, client timeout and also if the client is now which is uh, setting some time, time bound, if the time is out, the client not receive the messages. Generally, this uh, will be happened. If the server is under heavy load, Server has a heavy load which is increased the uh, client's time of durations to give the server more time to response. That means here uh, server failure also with the heavy load, with the heavy load server within a time bound which is not responded. So in this other case also the client uh, won't receive the information, won't receive the response from the server server failure, server busy, server heavy workload and uh, these are all the uh, causes for that one. Network issues, here is the network issue, next problem is a network issue. So network issue means now check for the network issues like network issues are like packet loss, high latency. So that may, that may uh, causes the response to be delayed or lost response to be delayed or lost. So these are all the network issues. Server side error handling. So server side some sometimes now server side the errors will be arise that server side error handling or some mistakes will be arise. So which implement the error handling on the server side to catch and log any exceptions. Here yeah, any errors or any exceptions due to the server side. Now, 
that might be preventing the uh, server from sending the responses this is also error handling effect due to the error handling effect also now it is also one of the reason next the problem is messages are not being echoed correctly that means no correct correct the data correct the data so in this other case not being echoed correctly once the client is sending the message echoed the server not echoed correctly when it is not echoed correctly means now if any sending data is a corrupted so due to the man man in the middle of the attacks it will be corrupted at that time any hackers are attack the the data so in this uh, uh, situation the data will be uh, corrupted here is the the problem is the problem is udp echo server which is uh, receives the message from the, uh, the client but the message being echoed back or corrected or incomplete here is from the client but the message is is being the corrupted or incompletely received the messages for that one so we have to suggested the solutions are buffer size first we have to check the buffer size increasing the buffer size ensures that buffer size whatever the buffer you are using at the server side or at the client side now ensures that buffer size is used by the server to receives the data with help of the receive from method now which is receive from method now which is receiving the data from the client he is large enough to holding the incoming messages the data is a large data bulk amount of data which is holding the messages if the buffer is a, is a too small buffer size is a too small now the corrections will be arise the message may be the uh, truncated here whatever the message now we are sending the message may be the other truncated for example here uh, data client address which is uh, server uh, socket uh, dot receive from 4096 is a port number 4096 is a uh, port number here the uh, size buffer size is a, if it is a very small at the client side or at the server side so these uh, the corrections will be arise for that now we have to increase the buffer or the size at particular or the port number then if we increase the or the buffer size effectively we can we can receive the the data the corrections they can be removed here data encoding data encoding so data encoding means generally for providing high security we are encoding the data verifying that the client and the server are using the same encoding decoding methods which is uh, same encoding method and uh, decoding methods can be utilized here is the mismatched encoding can lead to the data corruptions data corruptions will be the, so any encodings are mismatched the data will be uh, corrupted so this is also one of the reason example here decode decoding can be data dot decode now we are after encoding the data so if you want to see the original message now we have to decode the data at the at the receiver side for decoding and uh, message encoding for the encoding can be used message dot encoding can be used for the encoding the data data dot decoding can be used for the decoding the other uh, data by decoding the data here now we are uh, we are receives the whatever the message uh, the client sent the same message now we are receiving so encoding generally we are providing for the high security high security purpose now we can encode the data the packet loss here is the packet loss packet loss means now check for the potential packet loss in a network so generally the network the congestions are network the problems network the configuration problems now so with these uh, issues now uh, packet will be the loss generally the packet will be the loss which uh, which could cause the incomplete data to be received so here with this one we can't receive the uh, complete data the data should be the incomplete the incomplete data can be received with the packet loss problem next uh, the problem is uh, 
server handles only one client at a time so number of clients in a client server multicasting if you take the multicasting the grouping multi group multi uh, casting in a grouping messages uh, number of clients uh, generally which is receiving which is uh, sending the uh, the data to a single uh, the server and receiving the respondent uh, all the uh, clients can be received the respondent from the single server here is the server handles only one client at a time the problem is here what the problem will arise so your udp echo server is supposed to handle the multiple clients but it seems to be process request uh, from only one client at a time now udp server here even though if it is receiving multiple clients but the processing can be done only one uh, client after after uh, completing of the uh, that particular uh, the client next client can be uh, processed and echo the message to the clients so this is the general uh, the problem at a time now the server can't receive the multiple other uh, clients at a time it which is can't echo the uh, messages so this is the one one of the the problem in a network uh, uh, programming here is the problem here how can uh, overcome this the problem now check the code structure first we have to check the code structure here udp user datagram is a connectionless protocol it is a connectionless uh, the protocol the server should be handle the multiple clients uh, simultaneously number of clients uh, simultaneously without uh, the modification without the data modification uh, the client the server can be it can handle the multiple clients but respond uh, is a problem for that one now we are using the udp connectionless uh, the protocol which ensures there are no blocking operations or infinite loops that prevent the server uh, from the processing new request which is processing new request for example in a mobile communication so the response which responds to suppose uh, multiple mobile phones from the multiple mobile phones from multiple mobile phones now if you are calling multiple clients multiple mobile clients now so client uh, here yeah, client 1 client 2 up to dash dash uh, client 2 n yeah, multiple mobile clients now if you are calling to the same mobile phone same number all these three uh, all these n number of clients are trying to call the same mobile number so it is a server mobile number now server and station so in this other situation now the process here is now which the server which is handling the multiple clients multiple clients but allocating only one uh, phone number one other phone number after completing the other task now allocate the another other phone number sequencing the frequency here in a server in a server uh, the device sequencing the phones the devices whatever the multi uh, clients are uh, requesting to the single server with the with giving the uh, sequencing number now which is allocate the other uh, message remaining suppose here number 1 one, one client one is allocated to the so these are the server remaining all giving the engage the call is engaged that means now which is responded to, to the remaining clients as a so which is uh, the busy with some other calls so like this now uh, check the code uh, the structure for that one non blocking io non blocking io no which is uh, considering using the non blocking as uh, a sockets or the socket uh, module to handle the multiple request uh, concurrently especially now if you expect a high volume of the traffic so when uh, non blocking you know when uh, blocking can be done the volume the high traffic the uh, the message the communication messages are very in high traffic now so this is the non blocking input output now we have to other uh, consider the uh, at the socket side at the client side now select the module to handling the multiple other uh, request uh, concurrently for non blocking now we can uh, concurrently we have to select uh, concurrently is a most uh, the important next uh, the logging and debugging 
So add the login to your server code. After logging, you have to verify. So that is a receiving or other processing the request uh, from the multiple other uh, clients or not. You have to verify it. So this will help to identify the any logical errors. Here, next uh, the problem is UDP packet loss duration, high traffic. The problem is during this the period of the high traffic, your UDP echo client, uh, which is noticed that some messages are not being echoed back, indicating the packet loss. It is a UDP packet loss with a high traffic during the high traffic. Uh, so it will be packets will be lost. So UDP echo client, which is noticed that some messages are not being echoed back, which is noticed. So when it is not echoed, whenever the packets are lost during this uh, high traffic, uh, so it will not echo. The solution for this one, we are increasing the buffer size. By increasing the buffer size, if the traffic is very high, it can be stored and uh, sequentially we can we can respond it. Here is the the server can be responded to the any other client uh, request. That means uh, which increase the buffer size, both the server side and the uh, client uh, side. Automatically here, which more data it can be holds and reducing the the packet loss uh, during the high traffic uh, by increasing the buffer size. Rate limiting also. Rate limiting now by implementing the rate limiting on the client side, which is preventing preventing the overwhelming to the server with too many requested at a once. This can help the mitigate packet loss, which is reducing the packet loss. This rate limiting quality of service. Quality of service if available, we have to configure the quality of the service setting on your network. To prioritize the UDP uh, the traffic, which is reducing the, the chance of the packet uh, loss, chance of the packet loss. So server other uh, performance. Server other uh, performance. Now we have to consider the optimizing the server other uh, performance by using the multi-threaded concepts or asynchronous uh, approach. Here it can handle more requests uh, simultaneously. Number of requests, uh, number of requests uh, simultaneously means here, yeah, now which is uh, uh, receives the request from the many clients and responds to, responds to that whatever the uh, request is received at a time it will be respond. That is a server, the performance can be increased. Next to the problem is client receives, uh, client receives the responses from the wrong servers. So it is a, it is a problem. When it is the uh, arise means, uh, uh, some attacks are arised over, over the network, over this uh, the communication. Generally, this type of this problems will be arised. That means UDP echo client receives the echo response, but they are uh, coming from the different servers. So the dif different servers, uh, uh, then whatever we are, we are expecting. That is the uh, attacks. Whenever the attacks are arise, whenever the vulnerabilities are present in your network. So generally, these are the problem will be arise. So possible due to the multiple echo servers running on the same network. So this is a the problem will be arise. Use the unique ports. Here is the you use the unique ports, which ensures that each each UDP which echo server is bound to a unique the port, which is bounding to the unique port to prevent the conflicts. To prevent the conflicts. So the client uh, should be configured to send the data to the correct server IP address and the port. Here is IP filtering. Implementing the IP filtering and uh, network at the segmentation. So it can be it can be it can be avoided. Wrong uh, the server receiving messages from the wrong uh, the server. With this IP filtering and network segmentation, now we can avoid reducing the, the chance of client interacting with the wrong servers. If it is a wrong server, it will be reduced and also the client to accept the responses. Uh, so only from the intent server IP address only. So this is the other possible. Problem 7, client hangs or crashes uh, when no server is available. Here is, the, this is a problem. UDP echo client which hangs or crashes when it tries to send messages 
but no server is available to respond. So this is the problem will be arise. So the solution is the error handling is the main uh, the solution for that one. Implementing the the proper error handling on the client side to catching and managing the exceptions like socket time or socket errors. So this is a code for the error handling. Client side uh, from the this is a code client side you now which is sending the messages which will be encoded based on the uh, the server address now which is sending. Here is the server now the client socket which is receiving. Here is the client socket which is receiving with the help of this uh, the port number. The data can be sent to the, uh, the server. The client is sending the data to the, uh, the server. The exceptions, uh, if is there any exceptions now, we can handle the exceptions with socket dot time out and printing the no response from the server request timed out. Accept uh, socket error as a print e socket errors will be arising. Now this is a code for uh, implementation. Timeout setting, retry mechanisms. Here is the timeout setting now, which is a reasonable time to set it, and also adjust the time durations based on the expected network other connection. Retry mechanism. So retry mechanism now, which is the where implementing the retry mechanism, the client attempts to resend the messages uh, a few times, few times uh, before giving up. Here. This can improve the reliability and sensibility performance in case of the uh, temporary network issues are arise. These are the problems and solutions. Uh, uh, scenario should help the address common issues encountered when working with the UDP, ECHO, server and client. So this is a reference as uh, computer networking, a top down approach and uh, reference uh, textbook is uh, this one. Reference book is a Unix network, the programming volume 1. So this is about the UDP Echo server and UDP Echo client. Thank you. Like, share and subscribe. Hit the bell icon for more updates.